close enough. Well, all right, guys. So there comes a point in every man's journey when he's got to start taking a cold, hard look at his surroundings and uh, realizing that he's not in over his head, but he's definitely surprised himself. It's not unlike the Hobbit there, Frildo Baggins or whatever. One on the journey there to uh, Mount Jump Cut or whatever it's called. Anyway, without further ado, here's what's going on so far. Sorry for the unsavories. Pretty much what she's looking like so far. So next step in the operation here, which is cutting a little trim piece down there and uh, installing a little reducer rig to go from the floor to the carpet. All right, so let's get to it. All right, guys. So we're gonna need a little piece to go in here between there and there. Man, and there's just debris everywhere. Eh? We also need to remove this piece here, this transition piece. It's pretty ugly. It's not that great looking. Install a little piece of wood underneath there, bring it up to floor level, and then we'll have the transition piece screwed into that piece of wood to go from here to there. Well, obviously to cut that to shape. Uh, anyway, to pull this off, you just get something underneath it and you just give her one of those. Try not to damage the door too vigorously. I've already damaged her, guys. She's just getting worse here. We're just totally ruining her at this point. The carpet's just held in there by little reverse. Reverse hooks. Barbs. That's what it is. I'm trying to get this out still without damaging nothing. Doesn't seem to be working. Scraped up the wall nice there. Whatever, the good part about damaging stuff is like once you've damaged it, you can't damage it worse, right? You can't make it worse than terrible, so. I mean, you might be able to, who knows? Uh, if anyone could, I probably could, but watch out for the prickles on those ones, those little pokers. But there's what I was talking about with the barbs. I'm vacuuming this out, sorry for the sound here. So you see down there underneath the carpet? Ah, got something in the hand. There's uh, little nails for where the carpet uh, will hook onto. I'm just gonna vacuum this out quick. Okay, so we're gonna have to trim this carpet a little to get our piece of wood to fit in there. So first we're gonna measure and cut this little length here. And then actually I'll just bring that downstairs and get the right length for the other part too. All right, so I just cut that stuff and uh, brought her back up. You know, never mind to this, the fact that it's not straight. It happened after I cut it straight. Somebody else might've done that. I'm not sure exactly who or how they got in the house, but definitely was not me. Anyway, let's continue with the work here. So I also managed to cut some wood here. Not straight either. That same guy who was doing the other stuff probably uh, came in and wrecked this too at the same time. As you can see, there's a difference in height from the floor to the rig to the thing to the whatever so uh, I'm gonna be putting this in there which conveniently is the right height and then uh, it'll be able to have the reducer on it guys and the, and girls and that's how it'll work so let's get to her actually no first I'm gonna be cutting the carpet it'll fit, so it all fits order of operations guys nothing like dirty carpet scratches to get your night off on the right foot if you're wondering what that noise is in the background, that's Bree. She's uh, decided to come along and help me for the evening here. She's mudding the wall. Step that I forgot we had to do, probably because she was the one who did it last time. These scissors are getting dull. Giving you guys updates like it's a journal entry and I'm like a longshoreman who's like got beached somewhere in the Arctic. It's just surrounded by yetis. Life's coming to an end soon. May have cut off too much carpet. Probably not gonna be looking great now. Abominable snowman's come. Some of them have diversified as berserkers. They're just showing up to the house party, just throwing haymakers at everybody. Nobody asked for them to be there. No one by them. Robertson Crusoe or John Crusoe or Robinson Cusack or whatever their name is is, is just turning in their grave because I'm actually telling his life story right now. The thing about the Yetis, right? Obviously you can't hear it off camera, but Bree's definitely laughing at my jokes because they're just super good. They're not dad jokes at all either. So these guys now, I'm gonna be going in there like that. What is that stuff in there? No one knows. Oh, it's glue, guys. Why is it there though? I'll certainly tell you that I don't know that. I don't know why it's there. Did he bring the drill in? I don't think he brought the drill in. Not seeing it anywhere. Okay, I'll get back at you. All right, so Peep was crying outside of the door there. So I said that she can come in on conditions that she doesn't go into the bathtub and start climbing all over the unsavory towel and stuff. Here she is, Here's Peep. You can't go in there, I told you. You gotta stay where you are and I'll stay where I am. You, no, stop it. Whatever you're trying, I know. I know all the tricks of the trade. I was a young female cat at one point as well. She's left. She's uninterested, guys. She realizes it's a lost cause. Oh, she's back, guys. She's back and undeterred. <laughs> Brought up like six or seven of these guys, but you probably only need the one it looks like, right? Just get the one to hold her down, guys, and just leave it from there, right? Just said he's gonna do one and hold her down, and then he does, tries to do two. Now, next step, thank you, Peep. She was hanging on to this, guys. Oh, did he cut it the right size? Guys, he did. Peep, whatever's happening, you need to not do what you're doing. Just trying to get in still. That'll be about where she goes there, I think. I, I can't go much further because I'll be missing the floor. Some guy, like I said, came up after I cut it straight and screwed it up, right? So what is happening? Oh, she's playing with razor blades, smacking this thing around. It's actually just in, it's just up to no good. Okay, so this is gonna go there. All right, first one's in. Second one's in. Third one's in. Fourth one's in too far. Fourth one's stripped. Oh, she's trying for another move. Hey, okay, we're almost there. Peep, quit trying to attack me. Oh, her bowl's there. She just wants water. 
You're gonna have a hell of a time with the audio with that because it's gonna be loud, right? Oh, there she goes. You see her coming out of nowhere. This is what we have to deal with. This little one. Okay, we're almost done here. Okay, so now you just line up to see there's a little channel there and there's a channel down here. Obviously this is going in. This is called a reducer piece and you're gonna be wanting to use the, uh, the see how it, okay, see how it kind of goes down on the one side. This is your side that's gonna be on the floor and this is your side that's gonna be on the carpet. Let's try it. Line her up, easier said than done. You're gonna wanna line up the other side and then I found it easiest if you push down in the middle. And guys, that's all right. That's looking all right, guys. Your reducer piece. Now you got a nice transition. All you gotta do is slap on the baseboards and call her good, right? Like, favorite, subscribe. Got her. Take two, I don't like that one. I know all the tricks of the trade. I was a young female cat at one point as well. Definitely not the guy's cuts. It's the room that's crooked, eh? My milkshake brings other boys to And they're like, it's better than And I'm like, it's better than